welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, to an episode of Innovate Wrestling. I am your host, Dangerous Dan Matthews. Today we're going to be looking at the tag title situation here at Innovate Wrestling. For the past several months, the Cross Brothers have held on to those titles by the skin of their teeth. They have made it out of fatal four-way matches, elimination matches, triple threat matches, lumberjack matches, you name it. They have found a way to hang on to their U.S. Tag Team titles. Well, we're going to see how it played out when Innovate Wrestling promoter Tony Givens gave the Party Boys one last opportunity at the U.S. Tag Team titles against the Cross Brothers, and Tony Givens was the special guest referee. Let's look at what happened at that match right now. What? What, what? what is Aiden Cross thinking? Right I don't now? know, but I think uh, I think even Tony Givens is kind of shocked. Aiden's like, "Oh wow, is he going for a German?" I think he was. Didn't quite work out for him. We got him off his feet for about a second. Oh wow, big high knee. Knox puts him over the top rope. Flips over. Oh, wow. Oh, and he oh, hits wow. it. He got it. He tried a bridge, but he couldn't hold it, but he got it. That was incredible. I don't know where Aiden Cross came up with that kind of strength. Oh, <laughs> and knocks his straight oh. back up. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, uh, Aiden, you may want to turn yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Turn around, big boy. Oh, my God. There. Oh, my God. Oh, he turned him all the way inside out. <laughs> oh, my God. So you think you're strong. Watch this. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Oh, wow. And the block into a half crab. Got to have crab on him. Uh-oh. And uh, I think Keith is still the legal man there, Christian. He's just goozled him. Uh, Keith Knox looking to the crowd. That is it. We have new Innovate Wrestling U.S. Tag Team Champions. And ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the matchup and the new Innovate Wrestling United States Tag Team Champions, the Party Boys. Are you experiencing neck pain, back pain, or headaches? Muse Family Chiropractic can help. Dr. Alan Muse provides a complete assessment using state-of-the-art technology to determine the cause of the pain and offers advanced treatments to help you find your way to a healthier, pain-free life. At Muse Family Chiropractic, we provide chiropractic care for the whole family, from newborns to great-grandparents, and we accept most insurances. At Muse Family Chiropractic, you're not just a patient, you're a family. Call us today at 247-5000. As I stand here and I look at the Innovate 
United States Heavyweight Championship title. This belt, this belt brings to mind two dates. That first date being October 22nd, 2017. The last time Action Ray and Elliot Russell squared off in the squared circle. See, I take pride in that matchup. It was a hard-hitting, toe-to-toe, exciting from bell-to-bell -bell matchup where Action Ray, respectfully, you came out the victor. Unfortunately, I came out on the losing end. But I take such pride in that matchup, Action Ray, that I sent the video of that match to guys like Chavo Guerrero Jr., Rob Conway, Caleb Conley, and Jason the Gift Kincaid. See, all four of those gentlemen, all four of those gentlemen told me the things I need to do to help improve upon myself so that I may become a better professional wrestler. They told me the do's and the do nots. And I've taken everything those gentlemen told me July 28th. I'm taking everything they told me July 28th, Action Ray, so when you step in the ring with Elliot Russell and the championship title is on the line, I make sure that I don't come out on the losing end this time around. No, 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 no. Action Ray, yes, you are a Bristol King College University Male Athlete of the Year. Yes, you have held every championship title that Innovate Pro Wrestling and Smoky Mountain has had to offer every championship title besides one. Besides the title that is currently being reigned by Elliot Russell. So understand, Action Ray, July 29th, when you wake up in the morning, when you look yourself in the mirror, you will be able to pat yourself on the back and tell yourself, yes, I've accomplished all these goals and all these accomplishments in professional wrestling. But last night, I just didn't get the job done because Elliot Russell is still the United States Innovate Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just announced today, InnovateWrestling.com. You go, you pay $4.99 a month. You get every event we've ever had. Every event we've ever had, NWA Smoky Mountain, all the way back to the NWA Smoky Mountain days. Every event we've ever had, changing into Innovate Wrestling, the evolution into it, Innovate Wrestling. But you don't want to miss our next live event, Innovate Wrestling Triggered, Saturday, July 28th, 7.30 bell time at the Cro Patton Cross White VFW, Bristol, Tennessee. It's going to be two title matches already announced. Listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. Axton Ray takes on Elliot Russell for the U.S. heavyweight title. And uh, a grudge match to say the least. Sigmund taking on Lenny Stratton for the television title. These two met at our last event, and it was nothing short of chaos that erupted between these two. You, want, you don't want to miss this, ladies and gentlemen. InnovateWrestling.com. Go and get your tickets now. Go and check out our new streaming site, InnovateWrestling.com, $5.99 a month. Get you every event. Come and get your tickets for the next event. We'll see you there. Bill. 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 Come on, man. Come. Okay. Okay. Look, you're without representation right now. I'm without a client. You remember how good of a manager I was? You remember, I led Jeff Conley to so many titles. I was, look, I know... We fought each other. I know you want to put that rope around my neck, but if you just give me a chance, I swear I'll, no one will fight harder for you, Bill. Your name is going to be in lights out there. You're, you need to be a star, and you need to let me make you a star. Let's just put all this barbed wire and light tubes aggression behind us, and let's just be friends. You can bring Tyler, too. I'll make you guys a star. I'll get you a shot for the tag titles. You just got to give me a cut of your earnings. Just a little bit. It's fine. Just a little. I won't take much. But you know you can do it. I know you can do it. Go win those belts. Sorry. Sorry. Go win the belts. 
I'll set it up if you'll have me. You gotta forgive me. You gotta take me on as your manager. Thank you. Are you experiencing neck pain, back pain, or headaches? Muse Family Chiropractic can help. Dr. Alan Muse provides a complete assessment using state-of-the-art technology to determine the cause of the pain and offers advanced treatments to help you find your way to a healthier, pain-free life. At Muse Family Chiropractic, we provide chiropractic care for the whole family, from newborns to great-grandparents, and we accept most insurances. At Muse Family Chiropractic, you're not just a patient, you're a family. Call us today at 247-5000. for going to the ropes. Look there, Wayne Nagy sprawling down to try to get leverage to break that back waist lock. He's got separation there into a wing over. There you see it once again, like I said, ATM. All he does is stick his feet out, and there is the ropes. Good ring positioning, but Wayne Atkins, only, he's going to break. Hey, let me tell you right now, Wayne Atkins, he'll get, down, he'll get down low and dirty. He's not the squeaky clean guy. But you know what? Nobody scratched that. Nobody thinks he's a squeaky clean guy. As dirty as you think Wayne Atkins is, he is, and he will get down and dirty. He's a fighter. He's a scrapper. He'll do what it takes. He's also a superior technical wrestler as he was an amateur standout in high school. So he's got the whole package there. He can fight, he can wrestle, he can fly. That's right, a serious contender for the state championship when he was in high school as a wrestler. And also just a bar, bar room brawler. Man, this guy will go to the, hey, back when Hall Wall was going hot and heavy, this guy was kicked out of there about every weekend fighting somebody or taking somebody's girl. He almost didn't hang on there, but he did, and Wayne Atkins is cooking now. Well, Wayne almost didn't make it over on that flip, but he did, he, he barely did and he got recovered over, well. He got over enough to get the leverage to get that, that uh, hit toss, and then two quick arm drags. Holds on. What's he going to do here? Look at the headstand. <laughs> Drives that knee right down on the bicep. Now, a lot of people might think that was just for show. But the further you can get and the more momentum you can get, the more kinetic energy you build up and dropping down on that elbow. That was an effective maneuver. You see, the, uh, ATM, you saw him shake his arm there. It definitely had some effect. Well, brings him back around. Cage is in now. That's yeah. his back, back body drop to Cage. The London Bridge. Well, now they're both. Oh, wow. And it's falling down. Here comes the big man. What's going to happen here? Double clothesline. They just ran into two tree trunks right there. And what's this? Oh, and this, we've seen this many a time. Keith Knox just, Gorilla presses Wayne Atkins right in. You know, what's with dudes using their partners as, as, uh, as battering rams these days? Everybody wants to throw, throw a dude at another dude. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, sometimes you just got to throw a dude into another dude, I guess. Oh, wow. Cage with the distraction there, calling for timeout. Put yeah, they say right gonna in work. Not a wise maneuver. No, that's not going to work at all. I don't know why he looked at me. I can't help him. Nor would I. 
Man, it takes a hard buckle in the corner. Well, quite the impact. Oh, man, and uh, yeah, and that Cage, uh, Cage backed right into the post in a There was nowhere to very run. Very hazardous Oh, manner. no. Oh, no. And the party boys are not looking to help the situation. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, man. That's vicious. I don't think ATM was helping very much either. Thank God this man already has children. Uh, yeah, how do you describe that? Well, you don't really need to, but like you said, Tony, yeah. That, that, his weekend is definitely shot. Man. Inverted oh. atomic drop. You know, the referee used his discretion. That could have easily been called as a DQ, but he's gonna let this thing go. And I can't blame him. These people deserve to see a winner in this matchup. Over the top and in comes Wayne Atkins. Flipping sent on Eddie Guerrero style. Could that be it? Only a two count. Jordan Cage needs to make a tag at this point. He's scrambling for a corner, any corner he can find. <laughs> I think it's the old any port in a storm attitude. Desperation maneuver there. Puts both feet and all of his weight into the chest of Wayne Atkins. And here comes ATM. As Cage is held in the leg, ATM drops the elbow right on. Atkins and in no, a big neck breaker. Not quite enough to get a three count. Momentum definitely shifted to the favor of the Illuminati at this point. Using that second rope that took the life out of Wayne Atkins here. ATM effectively distracting the referee so Jordan Cage can choke Wayne Atkins. Oh, wow. Cage gives him a shot, too. Yeah, they've cut off Wayne Atkins from Keith Knox here. Perfect drop kick from Jordan Cage. That might have what knocked Wayne Atkins out. One, two, Cage. Look at that rude taunting, gesture. Taunting Keith Knox. I'm not sure that's a good idea. He spits on Keith Knox. That is the last thing I would do. That's the last thing anybody would do. He might not even spit in Superman's cape. He spit in Superman's face. Yeah. Because in this build, in this town, Pete Knox is Superman. ATM. Former, former NWA Smoky Mountain Heavyweight Champion. Shooting Knox. Star Press. Excuse me, Shooting Star Press. I said Northern Light Suplex, and I don't know what. I'm getting my moves mixed up now. That wasn't even close to the same maneuver. That wasn't yeah. even close. Not even in the same ballpark, but yeah. we digress. I'm still thinking about the party bus. I'm sorry, fellas. Party bus has got you all frazzled. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me tell you. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure I want on it, and then I want on it, you know? <laughs> Here comes Wayne back. He's getting in there. Oh, wow. ATM cuts him right back off again with a back elbow and makes a tag to Jordan Cage. Illuminati doing a good job of it. Isolating Wayne Adkins from his partner, cutting the ring off, keeping the action on their side of the ring. Keeping the man towards their corner. Jordan have, Cage just going to work on Wayne Adkins. They have cut Wayne Adkins off from his lifeline. He badly needs to get the tag to Keith Knox right now. Oh, wow. That was a knee right to the face. And another one. They could have knocked him out right there. Makes it to the rope. 
that's he had, I don't think I don't I don't think that he could have gone up out of that. I, I think that would have been a three count. I think his only choice was to reach up and grab those ropes, and I don't even know that he did it intentionally. I think it might be involuntarily. It just been a, like an instinct maneuver because he held on to it even after the ref had the break. That's veteran instincts, though. Oh, uh, there's up. Double DDT from Wayne Atkins. I've seen that maneuver before, but never that impactful. You see the way he, he does. He spiked both of those men on their heads, and now he's created separation. It is now his chance to bring in the big man, Pete Knox, so he can clean house and retain those tag team championships. Wayne Atkins definitely trying to get up to make a tag. Keith Knox. Referee count up to five. Tag is made. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, House wow. of fire. Oh. <laughs> right in the forehead. He is drilling both ATM and Jordan Cage uh -oh. right in the forehead. Oh. oh, my God. He's dead. He's flopping around like a fish, like they did when he gives me like an injection. That may have been a mistake. I got ATM hitting Keith Knox, probably like a mosquito bite to Keith Knox. Didn't go anywhere. Man. He's walking around like he's a baby. He just <laughs> threw him like he was a little bitch. He just Excuse threw my him. language, but it, it happened. He it threw happened. him all the way to the other it side happened. of the ring. Oh! oh a party oh, crasher. A party crasher. Oh, Cage Cage. broke it up. Cage able to make the save there which definitely is the only thing that kept that match going. That match was over there. Uh, Cage sends oh. Atkins over the top and to the floor. Back in the in NWA Smoky Mountains, that would have been a DQ, but since we switched to Innovate Wrestling, that is no longer a disqualification. But it is brutal. That is a long way down. Uh, is he going for his choke slam again? He's put away many men with that. He, if he gets in this match, it's over. Reversal. Oh! He clipped his leg. Oh, he went right for that. That chop blocked that leg. They got a cutter on him. These guys are, look at the They're offense. They're going after a curb oh. stomp. Man, they just hit all kinds of offense on him there. Uh, and the big man kicks out. Getting a two count on uh, Keith Knox there is pretty impressive. They hit him with that five quick maneuvers there. All devastating. Took out the leg, several blows to the face, a diamond cutter, and the curve stop. He survived somehow. What, what in the here? world are they going for here? I don't know. Placing Keith Knox on the top rope. Definitely going up after something. Oh, wow. Cage falls off. He throws ATM off of there as well. Uh oh, the big man's going up. Oh, my God. We've seen this before. hit himself right in the head. Oh, no, he's knocked out. Keith Knox could be out. He's knocked out. But Wayne Atkins is a legal man. He got the tag. Drop kicks both men. What is going to happen here, man? This is thrilling. Everybody is, everybody. Yeah, but Wayne Atkins, there he's up. He's up in the ring. What's he going to do? Oh, here he comes. Dive through the ropes, taking out all three men. Took out everybody, including his partner. Wayne Adkins shoots Jordan Cage back in. Wayne's up top. What's he going to go for here? Big crossbody. Not quite enough. Just two. Not enough. That's right. Not enough. He's tuned up the band. What's he going to do? Oh, oh, he caught it. He did. He caught it. Page is out on his feet. Wait, what is going on here? Is that the Cross Brothers? Both of them with super kicks there. Now, what the hell? We, uh, we have new champions. They, they, they look already, they're the tag champions. ATM and Jordan Cage. What did we just see? Are the United States Tag Team Champions. The referee did not see it. 
The referee's decision is final. That is my ruling. The final always. The Illuminati just committed highway robbery, you. in my opinion. We told you! We told you! We have the power now! That's right, right back in the driver's seat is the Illuminati. No small thanks to the Cross Brothers. on the face of the party boys. Uh, Wayne Atkins is livid. Apparently this issue between the Cross Brothers and the party boys is not over. Not by a long shot. What a shocker, ladies and gentlemen. The Illuminati, Jordan Cage and ATM taking the tag titles away from the party boys what a shocker. And what becomes of this? What, what, what happens from here on out? Because the Cross Brothers and the Party Boys, both, they're owed rematches. What's going to happen? I don't know. You, you, we need to check out InnovateWrestling.com and find out what's going to happen with this. Keep, us, keep posted with that. I'm sure Tony Gibbons has got something up his sleeve planned for this situation here. As for you, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you right back here next week. Same time, same channel. We'll be right here.